Hi everyone and welcome back to Newegg TV. My name is Paul and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and overview of these three power supplies. This is the Antec High Current Pro series of power supplies. They are all 80 plus gold certified and I have the 750 watt, 850 watt and 1200 watt versions here. Let's take a quick look at the specs on the box. We have logos over here but this is the High Current Pro 1200, HCP 1200 uh, we're taking a look at but these apply to all of the models. They have fully protected high current plus 12 volt rails with high maximum loads to assure uh, graphics card compatibility. Both SLI and ATI Crossfire X certified for NVIDIA or AMD uh, solutions. They're both 80 plus gold certifi certified, so they can reach up to 92% efficiency. But the 80 plus gold certification, you need to hit 87% efficiency at 20% load, 90% efficiency at 50% load and 87% efficiency at 100% load. Uh, they, this one has eight 12 volt rails with high maximum load and we'll talk about the rail distribution for the other models as well. DC to DC voltage regulator modules to ensure stability, 99% of power available on the 12 volt rails. Uh, also a hybrid cable management system that I'll show you. Heavy gauge 16 American wire gauge high current cable at the CPU to reduce the conducted resistance. Double 8-pin CPU connectors for the 1200 watt version, so you can run uh, dual CPUs or perhaps a server or enterprise setup. 80mm uh, double ball bearing PWM cooling fan. Uh, Japanese made capacitors for longer lifespan. A double, dual double layer PCB uh, for cooling efficiency. And they're, both, they're all ADX 12 volt version 2.3 and EPS 12 volt version 2.92 compliant. Also you get over voltage protection uh, over current protection, short circuit protection, over power protection, over and over temperature protection. Lastly, this little logo right here, continuous power. Uh, when you read wattages for a lot of power supplies out there, uh, you may be concerned about whether or not they can actually reach that rate of wattage. A lot of them can, but a lot of them, depending on the testing, might not be able to maintain that amount of wattage. Antec, with this continuous power logo, is indicating that these power supplies can not just meet their rated wattages, but they can also run at those rated wattages consistently over time. So um, you can actually get, for instance, 850 watts out of the 850 watt power supply, uh, even if you're running that constantly. Before I open this one up, I also wanted to show you guys this little fan chart here. Antec has tuned the fans on these power supplies, so decibels and RPMs on either side here in uh, correspondence with the load line at the bottom. So you'll notice that you won't even get any uh, fan ramp up until you get past about 60% load or so. Before then, it will actually maintain about a 400 RPM uh, fan speed, which will greatly reduce noise, um, but still maintaining, of course, that standard power output. Going to start off here with an unboxing of the 750 watt model. I'll show you what comes in the box. Then I'll just go up the line and show you the differences between this one and the higher wattage versions. Uh, so first off, you get a black and white fold out installation uh, manual and product overview. You get an AC adapter cable. Don't mind me mangling the plastic bag for it real quick. So a uh, heavier duty, uh, I can't quite tell the amperage on this, but definitely thicker than your typical 10 amp uh, AC adapter cable for that. So make sure you can pull enough power from the wall. You get a little pouch here with all the modular cables. I'll go over those in just a moment. You get some cardboard and you get the power supply itself. You'll notice this is a partially modular power supply. There are a few permanent cables that are always attached and the rest of them come in the pouch the ones that are always attached will most likely always be needed. This has a protective covering with some Velcro over it, so make sure it stays nice and clean during shipping. And then there is the power supply itself. You may notice this has a bit of a blue tint here to the uh, outside casing. Definitely is very appealing, matches well with the Antec yellow. i just flip it over here so you can see the logo. So you can see Antec High Current Pro, 750 watt. Uh, that logo appears on both sides, so whichever orientation you have it in your case, uh, you will still be able to see that logo. There at the back is an Antec badge, as well as your AC adapter plug and on-off switch. Uh, on this side, we can see our PWM fan. Uh, this has a little piece of plastic on it, which is why it's probably not as shiny as it should be. There we go. So there's uh, your Antec A, Antec design. And finally, over on this side, we can see 
our permanently attached cables, as well as all of our modular plugs. Just to go over the permanently attached cables while I am right here, let me release them. We have your 20 plus 4 pin uh, constant, or 20 plus 4 pin standard motherboard power connector. So for most motherboards, 24 pins or older ones, 20 pin. Uh, you also have a 4 plus 4 pin 12 volt CPU adapter there. So if you're using a uh, motherboard that only requires the 4, you can use that or you can pair them up together for an 8 pin. And then finally, you also get uh, PCI Express uh, power plugs here that are permanently attached. Both of these are 6 plus 2, so they can fit a 6 pin or an 8 pin PCI Express connector uh, in a graphics card. And lastly, for the 750 watt, here's a quick look at the wattage table. We can see we have a 4 rail design here, so 4 plus 12 volt rails. And with 40 amps on each of those, you get up to 744 watts uh, at 62 amps of usable power on just the 12 volt rails alone. And now here's a look at the modular cables. Again, this is for the 750 watt version. You'll notice that they are all sleeved very nicely. They also have uh, plenty of cable length on, on each one. Uh, the red ones here are for your CPU plugs and PCI Express. So you get one uh, red plug that leads to an 8 pin EPS 12 volt power supply. Or, I'm sorry, supplemental CPU power connector. One of those, so you'll have uh, the 8 there and then the 4 plus 4 that's permanently attached to the power supply itself. You get two of these cables. These each have uh, three Molex plugs on them, and then one of them has a floppy plug. So you get a total of six Molex plugs and a single floppy plug. And then finally you have your, well not finally, but next you have your serial ATA cables. You get three of these, and each of them has three serial ATA power plugs on them. So you get a total of nine serial ATA plugs. Then finally you have your PCI Express connector here. So as well as the two that come permanently wired to the power supply. You get a couple more there, again, six plus two. So a total of four, eight, or six pin PCI Express uh, video game, uh, video card power plugs on that. Now, I'm gonna set all these to the side for just a moment, and I'm actually gonna bring in the 850 watt version here because they're very similar in most respects. Physically, uh, it is the same. So what I showed you for the 750 watt is just the same, you get the same a uh, little set of permanently attached cables there. We'll take a quick look here at the uh, power chart here for the 850 watt version. You'll see we still have a four 12 volt rail design. You get 40 amps on each rail with this one, so you get a total of 840 watts at 70 amps available on all your 12 volt rails. And then the only difference between the cabling is that with the 850 watt version, uh, you're set up for a triple crossfire or SLI setup, so you actually get a total of six PCI Express connectors with two of these cables and each of them again having the six plus two pin connectors. So total of six, eight or six pin PCI Express power connectors on the 850 watt for your graphics cards. And now at last we move on to the 1200 watt version here and um, a few distinct differences between this and the 850 and 750. First of all, you'll see that there is a 80 millimeter fan here at the back of the 1200 watt and that's as compared to the 135 millimeter double wall ball bearing fan in the 850 and 750. So uh, both fans are, are completely effective at cooling the power supplies themselves, uh, but just bear in mind for the airflow in your case, the fans located at the back here instead of on the bottom. On the bottom you still get a handsome Antec badge of course and you also still have the Antec logos on both sides of the unit so you can see no matter how you have it oriented in your case the sides of that. Uh, you also get several additional hardwired uh, cables that are attached of course they're all still sleeved um, but a few more of them are hardwired to the unit with the 1200 watt as compared to the other two versions so let me just Finagle this out of its uh, retaining strap here so I can show you these cables. Oh, I should also mention that uh, all three of these units do come with four mounting screws to mount the power supply to your case. So here's the 1200 watt permanently attached cables. You get a 20 plus 4 pin main motherboard power connector. You get two CPU supplemental power connectors. So you have a uh, 4 pin if you need that, or you have an 8 pin 4 plus 4 if you need that for EPS 12 volt, and then you get an additional 8 pin EPS 12 volt power connector there as well. So fully capable of powering computers that for instance have two CPUs installed. 
We have another set of permanently attached cables here. Again, bear with me while I undo the strap. There we go. And for permanently connected cables, we have some peripheral connectors here. So this uh, cable here has three serial ATA power plugs for peripherals. We also have another cable with three Molex pin, the uh, legacy four pin Molex plugs, also for peripherals. And then we have a couple PCI Express power connectors here. Two cables with uh, two plugs on either cable. So four total cable, uh, PCI Express power connectors there. All of them are eight pin or six pin. And then uh, we will next check out what's in the uh, modular cabling in the bag itself. So here are your modular cables. And also wanted to point out you get a 14 wire gauge AC adapter cable uh, with the 1200 watt as compared to the 16 wire gauge cables that come with the other two supplies. Uh, for starters here, we will move on with additional PCI Express power connectors. So we got four more available here through available here through modular cabling. So that gives you a total of eight, eight or six pin PCI Express power cables. So enough plugs at least for quad fire or quad SLI. Uh, also here you have some more peripheral cables. We have uh, this one with three Molex and this one with three Molex and a floppy uh, plug. So you get six more Molex and that floppy. And then we have one, two, three more peripheral cables here. All of these have three serial ATA plugs on them. So nine additional serial ATA plugs here uh, for peripherals. And that's going to wrap it up for this video. Once again, this has been the Antec High Current Pro series of power supplies, all of them 80 plus gold certified semi-modular power supplies, available in 750, 850, and 1200 watt varieties. I'm Paul with Newegg TV. If you enjoyed today's video, please head over to our Newegg YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe for more tech videos just like it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.